Welcome gamers to the brand new Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 Star Wars mod by Kenji. And as you can see, it's adding a ton to the game. We've got all new ground units like these Republic Infantry Soldiers that are not clone troopers, which is kind of fun. Obviously, we've got brand new space vehicles, we got Venators, we got Acclimators, Providence class ships, Munificent class ships, so many amazing space vehicles, and uh, some more ground vehicles and uh, air to ground combat vehicles like the LAAT gunships right here. Uh, we've got AV-7 cannons over this way for the Republic. As for the drone droids over here we have some brand new mtt tanks as well as i think these are called j1 proton cannons i want to say uh and some brand new droid infantry as well and some geonosis troopers over here this mod adds so much so let's get right on into it here this is just going to be the first of many battles because not only do we have brand new clone wars units on the battlefield we also are going to have some brand new first order units on the battlefield too and uh, Jedi and other things that have been added uh, from Kenji. So this is really exciting. We haven't had a mass scale brand new mod in a while. Here's some interesting Republic Mud Trooper variants, kind of like the Mud Troopers of Mimban, but obviously uh, a few years before that, which is kind of cool. Here are our massive ships up here. I believe they do HE fire down below, like little orbital strikes and stuff like that. They might not be close enough just yet, but you can see they are moving forward uh which is pretty cool to see we've got the b1 battle droids over here now with e5 sniper rifles which is a brand new weapon we have not seen in any star wars mod yet oh yeah we've got some republic troopers flying through the air right now let's real quick see how much health okay droids have a thousand health how about these republic troopers Five thousand? Oh well, these are Senate guards. Sorry, these are Senate guards right here, who I believe have a two eighties, maybe. All right. Well, how much do the regular Republic troopers have? Fifteen hundred health. Okay. AV seven cannons over here, already dead on the battlefield. LAAT gunships not faring much better. They are also dying out pretty quickly here. How are the droid vehicles doing? Uh, it looks like their MTTs are all dead, and their proton cannons also dead on the battlefield. Uh, we've also got some brand new B2 Super Battle Droids, which look so much better than the old B2 Battle Droids we were working with before. And these guys have 2750 health, so still a little bit weaker than Senate Guards, even though I feel like they should be more powerful than Senate Guards. But it is what it is, my dude, it is what it is. Alright, let's see how these massive spacecraft are doing right now. I mean, they're just kind of hovering. It's hard to tell. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see uh, the Separatist ships doing like little orbital strikes and stuff like that downwards. And, and they've got some pretty quick fire. Oh, and they've, yeah, those are very, very large explosions. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Amazing. It does seem like the Republic is going to win this little test battle right here, considering the fact that they have so many more units over here than the droids, but again, uh, this is my first time seeing these battles, so I had no way of knowing how to balance this or anything like that, and this is more of a mod showcase anyway. We're going to be checking out, oh my goodness, that's a Venator strike right there, or an Acclimator strike, I'm not entirely sure which shot that, um, but yeah, we're... <laughs> We're just testing the waters of these new mods uh, and checking out all the new units and stuff like that and just getting a feel for it because, yeah, there's a ton that has been added and I am so freaking excited about it, baby. It's going to be incredible. Yeah, I wonder how much health do these massive ships have, if I can even... Oh, whoops. These are the uh, new Jedi units, by the way. I think they're new Republic Jedi, actually. Um, yeah, can I take control of, like, the Venator? Is that... Oh! Holy cow. How many zeros is that? One, two, three, three. Does this thing have... 75 million health? Oh my god. How much does this have? Okay, this one's got... This one's dying, but it has... Is that 1.5 billion health? What? Okay, these ships are huge, man. 
I think all of the droid infantry is dead. It's now just clone, uh, sorry, Republic infantry uh, and Republic ships going up against uh, droid ships and uh, the infantry is free firing into the droids. So why don't we go ahead and time lapse this for a little bit here uh, and just watch the massive space battle occur because it could take a while for these just Goliaths to die. Okay, so apparently the droids... Ah, I was listening to a, <laughs> one of my edit, editor's drafts that they just sent me. Um, apparently, two droid vehicles are still alive. I think it's... Well, this is... No, that's dead. Okay. It, it's got to be the Providence, right? Well, it's not, like, moving, really. Oh, wait, over here. I think it's this big boy. For some reason, when vehicles this large spawn in, they create these weird rectangles. Uh, I guess they're squares. I don't know why. I do not know why. But, uh, I guess all those vehicles are dead and it's just this? Oh, and that up there. I see. Okay. <laughs> all right. A little bit derpy, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, just let it play, I guess, for a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Okay, now apparently there's only one uh, Separatist ship left alive. I... Oh, they disappeared. <laughs> okay, this is a little glitchy. I think it's this one here, but let's move on to the next battle because obviously it's going to die against 191,000 of these guys, and if it really does have like a billion health, we could be here for forever. So let's move on. Very cool units, though. Real quick, huge thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. They have literally the best deals in gaming. I use it all the time. If you like Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars for $2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for $9. One of my favorite Star Wars games, Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, a buck 70. If you want to play the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, Men of War Assault Squad 2, $3. Extremely popular games can be up to 99% off. Link in the description below. Thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the video. All right, boys. So this adds a ton of first order soldiers to the battlefield. So we have heavy troopers here, which look incredible. Over this way, we've got like, they're army troopers, but they're almost like Sith army troopers with the red. It's very interesting. Uh, over here, we should have more, yeah, standard first order troopers. So that's pretty fun. Over this way, we have, yes, the First Order uh, Sith Troopers, I believe is what they're called, right? I, I believe, I believe. Um, over here we have more of them, but I think it's a slight variant on the armor? Or is it the weapon that's different? They're two different units. So I'm not totally sure why they're different. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but then over this way, we have some Inquisitors on the battlefield, which is just very cool to see. I'm very glad uh, we have Inquisitors. We could do a pretty dope uh, Order 66 battle with them, I guess. Well, it would be more like just a standard hunting Jedi battle. And speaking of which, we have one million Jedi over here that are going to be fighting all of these guys. And I forgot to mention, there's also... Some new TX Saber Tanks on the battlefield, too. Uh, these are like four... Yeah, four two sevens. Um, so they're pretty unique looking. This one isn't a Kenji mod, uh, but I haven't used them before, so I thought we'd share them on the, on the battlefield here. Either way, Jedi coming forward. Already 25,000 of them dead on the battlefield. So clearly the First Order Sith Troopers are deadly, man. I mean, look at that. They've got some serious range to them, not to mention their bullets are just shredding Jedi, who are pretty strong units. All right, here we go. The Jedi are interacting now with the Inquisitors, and oh my god. They are getting curb stomped. These guys have 100,000 health? Oh my god. All right, so it's pretty clear the Jedi are going to lose this battle. I didn't know how powerful those guys are. How about these guys? How... 5,000 health, that's kind of a lot, man. And the First Order has 2,500. And this other Inquisitor variant also has 100,000. 
Wow, okay, so the Jedi are basically screwed here. They are, there's zero chance that they're gonna win this thing, but let's go ahead and time lapse it and uh, see, and then we'll boost the number of Jedi just to see later on. Okay, so the Jedi went down extraordinarily easy, getting one kill. You can't make this up. They got one kill. Oh my god. Okay, now we've got five million of the Jedi Knights, and they completely surround the First Order here. So let's see if that works. Probably not. <laughs> they only got one kill. Literally one singular kill last time. I don't see how they get any more kills now. Wow, look how powerful these guys are. Jedi are a vanilla game hero unit, mind you. This is insanity. Wow. Okay, well, they've got three kills this time, though, so they're making big... That's, that is a 300% increase in their kill. Now they've got six. My God, these guys are... <laughs> these guys are the toughest stuff. Okay, now they're getting some kills from their deflectability, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, they're up to 400 now. So they're, they're actually gonna get some kills this battle, but it's a matter of how many because okay, clearly they're still not up to snuff against any of these units. <laughs> Alright, they've got 2,500, but they've also lost 1.43 million Jedi thus far. That is an insane ratio. <laughs> L plus ratio indeed, brother. Look at these First Order Heavy Gunners. They're actually not the most powerful, so the Jedi are able to get up to them and start doing some swinging against them. But still, they end up falling more than they're killing, so uh, this, is, uh, this is pathetic showing. Truly, truly pathetic. My god, man. Holy cow. And the uh, Inquisitors are just absolutely brutal. They just melt through the Jedi. The, the Jedi still have 2.5 million. They're at half of their total force, and they've only killed 9,000 enemies. Let's just time lapse the end, because this is going nowhere. Okay, so the Jedi only got 11,895 kills, but I have a different idea. 99 Venators have approached the planet. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Alright, so the orbital strikes from the Venators begin to fire away, which just is devastating. Look at that. Holy cow, it's not enough to kill a lot of these guys, it seems. Oh no, yes it is, it's just not counting the kills as Venator kills. Okay, I see, because technically the Venators only have 70 kills, but the, look at all the dead bodies. So yeah, they are kind of ravaging the planet's surface here. 100 Venators might have been a little overkill, but I kind of thought this army was a little bit overkill, so... <laughs> I don't know, maybe they, they can still do it. The Sith do have 100,000 health, so these guys are not going to go down easily. Is this Venator dead, or, or is it just... Oh, rebounded back up. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> all righty then. <laughs> Look at all the fire coming out. Oh, one Venator has already died? Wait, how much health do these have? Yeah, they have... Is it like 150 million health or something? How did one already die? It's actually insane. These ground units are overpowered, dude. Holy smokes. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I am loving these new Star Wars mods. They're so fun, man. They are so fun. All right, let's go ahead and time lapse the Venators vibing out and uh, they'll, I don't know if they'll win this. I don't know, I don't know. There's still six, uh, is that six? Yeah, 630,000 remaining uh, ground troops. And uh, 97 Venators now. They lost another! How is that even possible, dude? You have 150 million health or something!
it has been 32 minutes now, and uh, the Sith Troopers and First Order Troopers are still alive. Most of the vendors have gone out of bounds. So, there's that. 18 of them have also died on the battlefield now, uh, from the starting 99. Oh, oh, I thought it crashed, but no, it's, it's back in the air. Okay, are these ones also out of bounds? Let's see. Looks like the First Order and, like, Inquisitors and stuff are just kind of running around randomly. Um, they had 323,000 starting, and now they're down to... Uh, sorry, they had 600,000 starting. Now they're down to 320,000. Um, I think almost all the Venators are out of bounds, so they can't really be killed. So they kind of retreated. It's, they, they took an L, but by retreating, which I don't think we've ever had in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 before. So... This is very interesting. Yeah, they're all out of bounds now. They're all past the border. So they kind of just were cowards and ran. I don't blame them, because these enemies are tough. I don't even see any alive over here. They're all dead, but... Oh, wait, there's a couple randoms. <laughs> these guys are tough, man. This is tough. Um, either way, that's going to be the video today. Just checking out all of the brand new Star Wars units in this Star Wars mod. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, these are the dead ones over here. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I think these are dead too. They're just not on the ground. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see more battles like this in the future uh, with the new Star Wars mod. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.